good afternoon, guys. We are hanging out at Sayre School today. The upper school students are here with us, and they have been working very hard on a production that they've put together just for you to see. That's coming up in just a little bit. But first, what does it take to put something like this together? Margo Buchanan is with us and the director of upper school students. I got a few of these kids at home, and yeah. it's not easy, no, is it? it's not. It's like herding cats. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it, what's so uh, exciting for us here at Sayre School yeah. is that they haven't been able to do a musical for six years. Now, why? Now. Well, there's just there was a change of the guard, okay. and then there were, you know, finances and just coordination, mm -hmm. all kinds of things happened, until finally it was just like, we've got to do this, we've got to do this, for so many reasons. Uh, one, we've got talented kids here, right. but two, we also, I think um, the spirit of a high school musical is infectious, mm -hmm. and I think that Sarah School right now uh, needs that, and I'll tell you why, because we are building a beautiful new lower school and that because of that building um, things have shifted uh, people have been had to move to different buildings and all kinds of stuff I think we need a good morale booster right now and this musical is it so return to the forbidden planet is a parody of an old sci-fi movie called the forbidden planet which starred Leslie Nielsen and um, uh, and Francis and some old stars from the 50s. And uh, it's, uh, that movie is a takeoff on Shakespeare's The Tempest. So in the 80s, a uh, British rock group got together and uh, wrote this parody and used a lot of 50s rock music. And um, they did a lot of parody of some Shakespeare. So there's a little, there are lines from Julius Caesar that you'll recognize. There are lines from Hamlet that you'll recognize. Lots of Romeo and Juliet, Little, little Merchant of Venice, all this kind of stuff. You do not need to know Shakespeare to enjoy this play. But you, right? it just adds to it, right. At one moment, since it's about the Tempest, there's a character named Prospero. And a character stands up and goes, Prospero, Prospero, Wherefore art thou prospero from Romeo and Juliet, right? So it's a parody. Well, it sounds like a fun one, and I know the kiddos are having a lot of fun in putting this together. When can folks come out and support them? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 16th, 17th, and 18th at the, at the Downtown Arts Center. The Friday and Saturday night shows are at 7.30, and the Sunday shows at 2. And get your tickets at the door? Absolutely. Okay, now good news. They've put a little piece together for us that we're going to share with you. That's coming up at 4.50, so hang on for that. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about at Sayre School. Back to you guys.